Hi everybody, I uh, thought I'd just post a quick video unboxing of a game I've been waiting for for a couple of months. After a, a Kickstarter I backed uh, towards the beginning of the year, um, a second offering from Catastrophe Games. Uh, you will remember from my previous review, uh, their first game was The Land in Gallipoli 1915 by Joe Schmidt. Um, excellent little game and uh, when I saw the second offering uh, again was a very unusual period not covered very much in gaming terms and I saw some of the videos that Players Aid had put on um, it was a no-brainer really that had to be part of my collection so this is Conflict of Wills the Judean Hammer Guerrilla Warfare during the Maccabean Revolt by Robin David and uh, as you can tell here packaged by Blue Panther uh, normal excellent packaging that you get from them and uh, some nice artwork at front and back um, so this is a card driven uh, game uh, and it has a deck burning mechanic which particularly appealed to me I uh, played a few games like that and uh, that tends to work really well in terms of keeping length of game uh, sensible uh, means you can get maybe one if not two games in in an evening for our war games evenings again uh, being a, a war gamer um, this period of history again is really interesting um, and something a little bit different uh, this is a two player game um, I think you probably could adapt it to solitaire but uh, predominantly I think you're going to need uh, two players and a one and a half to two hours play time low complexity which suits me. Um, so you get uh, contents of the box, uh, the map, the cubes which represent the Maccabean Greek units, a couple of dice, the cards and uh, a card mat. Um, so we'll have a look at those at the moment. So it's a, an area control game uh, using the deck burning mechanic uh, and obviously it's covering a period of history. Um, the king of the Seleucid Empire uh, forced the residents of Judea to convert to Hellenism in the rural town of Modin. A Jewish priest killed a Hellenistic Jew and Greek officer as they tried making a sacrifice to an idol. In doing so, it sparked a revolt that spread across Judea. Uh, obviously, you can read the rest on there for yourselves. Um, I haven't played any of Robin David's games before. Not sure if this is his first one or not, uh, but I've heard very good things. Um, but I am aware of the artist um, Ilya Kudryashov. Uh, apologies if I've not pronounced that very well. Uh, but uh, I know uh, famed for their artwork. And uh, as you can see there, a really attractive looking um, box. So let's, uh, let's crack this open and see what we've got. Okay, so let's uh, get that off there. And it's wet, and it actually, for video purposes, it, it may be a little bit easier to see it now. Um, now that we've uh, got rid of the shrink wrap, shrink wrap. Um, so let's see what we've got in the box. Okay. So first of all these, um, which I believe are the card holders, were a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, typical of Blue Panther, really good thick card stock. Um, yeah, they're, they're really nice actually. Um, quite impressed with those. So uh, a nice little, uh, nice little bonus. And we've got the cubes. You can see everything is very colour coordinated. I like that. Um, purple and green cubes representing the uh, the various forces or factions at hand. Uh, even the dice, very nice as well. Same colour coding. I like that. Uh, the cards will will come on to in a moment. Let's see uh, what we've got in terms of uh, rule book. Okay, so 
looks really nice. Uh, similar artwork to the front cover of the box. Uh, 12 pages. Uh, we've got a little um, fast play check sheet on there, but I believe on the map itself, which we'll have a look at in a moment, most of what you need to do is, is actually on the map, so that's really good. Uh, we've got some designer notes, a glossary, and then um, really then the page uh, page count for the rules looks to be about 10 pages, and, and that's with a setup, um, as you can see there. So this is really nicely produced, full colour, um, very, very nice, clear fonts. Again, that colour theme coming all the way through. You even got the blue and um, blue. I don't know what's the matter with me tonight. I can't talk straight. Uh, you've even got the green and the purple um, coming through there, so you can see what relates to what faction. Um, it looks really, really good production values, to be honest. I mean, Blue Panther. Got several uh, of the horror spiel games which are produced by them, and again the 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 uh, production side of things is always top notch, and this looks no different. So that that looks excellent. Um, this must be the card mat. Yeah, it's just a bit thick paper, but um, that's fine. Again, really clear, nice and easy. And then we've got the map, uh, which I'll set up in a moment. Um, looks really good. What I'm going to do first is uh, get out the cards, because these are the, the key driver behind the game. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get those off there. Not too many cards, um, so it's a small, it's a small deck, but again, um, good GSM I would say is pretty good on that, so uh, they they look pretty decent card quality, and again that lovely artwork following through again. So um, yeah, it's really nice, clear uh, graphics and fonts on there on those cards as you can see there. Um, so really really nice. Um, not going to dwell on these too much, but you can. Get the gist from the colour code. Certainly, the the purple and the green will but represent their appropriate factions. Uh, not sure at this stage what the red ones are for, but uh, looking at the emblems, they could still be for the for the factions, but they obviously do certain different things. But uh, having not read the rules yet, um, that's not entirely clear as we go into that. But really nice, really really nice. I. I Probably don't need to sleeve them, but uh, to be honest, it's such a lovely game. I think I want to just to be sure that they're they kept really top notch. So I'm just going to stop the video and set up the map so you can have a look at that as well, and then we'll wrap up. So I've just set up the map um, just so you can see it uh, in its full glory. Um, I am aware that there was a problem with the first prints of the maps. Um, very, very quick uh, catastrophe games were to put that right. And I think, from what I gather, uh, most people were going to end up with two maps. Uh, the original print and a new print. Um, actually, I've got one in the box, but it looks absolutely fine. Um, really nicely printed. You can see... Uh, I'm having to zoom out a little bit so you can see the full map uh, laid out, but um, the quality of the print is exceptional, uh, very, very clear. I can see uh, up here we've got the casualty charts, sequence of plays, recruitment, movement and victory point charts. So it looks like everything you need to play the game is, is actually on the map. Um, and obviously you can see the areas on here as well. Uh, Jerusalem and then and then the other uh, zones or areas around that um, but yeah I'd, I probably will put this under some plexi although again the quality of the map it's, it's very thick paper as you often get with these blue uh, panther uh, type games so white dog games catastrophe games Holland Spiel uh, produce most of their games on this good quality paper uh, which is lovely uh, you could have a canvas map accessory with the game. Uh, I didn't, 
and I'm probably now regretting that um, having bought uh, the canvas maps for various other games such as Brave Little Belgium um, Agricola Master of Britain you know they are lovely um, at the time I, I sort of took a punt on this one not really understanding enough about the game um, and I thought well I'll, I'll just get the standard offering to start with but it looks gorgeous um, so really looking forward to getting this on the table and, and giving it a play probably will have to try it on my own to start with in view of current restrictions um, but yeah that's just a quick unboxing of the Judean Hammer Conflict of Wheels by Catastrophe Games and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this short video and uh, maybe I'll bring you a, a bit more of a review, a walkthrough or even a playthrough of the game uh, in due course.